to sell off a little bit of guitar, Psychedelia. And this tune I first heard this tune in about 1970. And I used to hear this tune down, I, I came to Melbourne in 1967 and I did my little apprenticeship with music in Melbourne. And I couldn't have been a luckier man at a better time in my life when you had people like Doug Parkinson, Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs. The very early chain, all the great fantastic party machine, all, 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 the, all the best bands in Australia were in Victoria, were in Melbourne. And I come in at the age of 14 from England and listen to the music over there. And quite often now we all talk about you know, great overseas musicians, Eric Clapton, B.B. King, and everything else. We have some of the greatest musicians in the world in this country. And we have a blues that sounds unlike anything else. We're a very isolated country, apart from internets and bits and pieces like that, but uh, our music has grown here. And of course, with Sam sitting in over there, I can't help but uh, mention Dutch. Yeah. Dutch would tell me off for doing this next thing I'm going to do at the start of this song, and he'd laugh at it at the same time. But uh, it's a little bit of a homage to all our great Australian musicians. And in particular, I remember going to um, the Thumping Tunnel here in Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs with Lobby playing guitar. And now, Lobby was kind of like Jeff Beck ahead of his time. Absolutely. Lobby played a lot of notes. He wasn't a subtle guitar player by any means or by any volume level. But before he got into the, uh, the rat's taily thing with the coloured balls, before he had his balls actually sort of um, coloured, <laughs> and they were blue. <laughs> Ish. And he played some of the most incredible guitar I've ever heard in my life. And they could never, ever capture that on record. You had to be there listening to it, and a lot of you probably were. So we're going to do Rock Me in the Key of A. I'll do my little bit of psychedelia at the start of it for Lobby. Set the feel up, so to speak, and then off we go. Before we do go any further, I'm very happy to have been invited here to play this afternoon. It wouldn't have been possible without Dolly organising this tour for me. <laughs> and these great musicians, we, uh, we call ourselves the Blues Disciples, and we call ourselves that for a very good reason. Again, uh, it's to do with Dutch, really. You know, Dutch wrote a song called Keep the Faith. Well, most disciples keep the faith apart from Judas. And we'd done a bit of a tour, and I got back home, and I said to Tony, what about calling it the Blues Disciples? Thinking he'd say, oh, you know, come on, you know. But he said, yeah, what a great idea. So that's why, that's why we are the Blues Disciples. <laughs> Now, of course, what I really mean is this. Mm -hmm. 